Now, big goons, I have a very special story to tell you. If you got axes and bows, you are now classified as a god. Because now you are pretty likely to get nerfed soon. I mean, he may not get nerfed, but his passive is pretty special with this new god, the Blur. And his passive basically makes it so when he switches stances, he doesn't need to wait for cooldown. He's just way too cool for that. He's way too cool. So basically what you can do, at level 1 you can use two different types of power-ups. Or abilities, whatever you like to call them. I'm special that way because I like to call them power-ups. And you get your ultimate straight away. So you can change stances straight away. But it doesn't give you buffs because that's special. Because that's just how you upgrade it makes it better. Because attack speed with your bow and life steal with your axes. So I see a team fight coming out here. And Zeus is getting bullied. And I hit this Thanatos with my uh, one and then just finish him off. And that Poseidon, I should have tried to get him with my axes. And our own Sun Wukong comes around. But this Ymir, wow Ymir, you can't take me on because I am a new god. And most likely, maybe slightly OP. And also because you're a tank and you cannot hurt me. But then Sun Wukong comes along and I cannot take a 2v1. Especially when he has the extendable long uh, spear thing trick. Not quite sure what it is, but yeah. Anyway, so as I come from behind to see Gon Yu coming out, I stun him with it. Quickly change stances and get it. Oh, uh, uh, missed, missed. Wow, missed completely. Anyway, that did not work. That did not work. Uh, anyway, let's change stances. And when you change stances, it it makes you get different abilities. So you effectively have six different abilities. I mean, two of them are steroids and two of them are uh, nukes, but one is a jump and another one is a long ranged, uh, sort of like Artemis thing, where arrows come from the sky, so, as you can see. So this, my number one, either throws an axe and stuns the first enemy it hits, or the freeze arrow which goes through everybody. And so, it's much better if you're solo laning to go with your one first. And it's very, very good to come in and just go and hit that Guan Yu with some stuff. And I miss with my one. And I'm going to come around here to try and shut him off from going home. The only problem is I didn't really do that much attention. I see he does stuff. And then I hit him with my axes, stun him, I'm going back home. But that kind of fails because I don't kill him. And so. He comes and tries to take me on, and I am like, no way. You try and hurt me, and <laughs> this was so close. We always started in the same amount, and simply because of my stance change that I just 1v1. The thing is, this guy is going to be pretty hard to gank, as you can see in later in the video, because he is really hard to gank, and 1v1ing he's very good at, because he has effectively 6 abilities, and 1 doesn't have a cooldown, but he does have very long cooldowns in the first place, so it evens out, I guess, not really, anyway, but I'd never actually get to the point where I'm really over leveled in this game, which is very unique, anyway, so I'll just let I'll just take this a bit, and I come, and go on you, just go on you, wow, anyway, so I normally just max up my one first because my in my hour form I just destroy everything. And Guan Yu doesn't get away for the second time. So I have three kills within the first three and a half minutes. And that's why I wanted to keep this. Because it, 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 I do very well, not very well, but for like the second time playing with this god, I felt like I did okay. So this is this Ymir, Ymir, you do not know the meaning of being a tank. You're too late, your friend isn't here, and I have an ox on my side, so you will most likely die, because, I don't know, 
Yeah, that should probably least likely gonna die. Let's see your tank. Eh. Hello, tank. And I'm running back, and this guy has a lot of HP to start off with. I mean, he has a very. I'm not quite sure how to classify him because he literally just. I, was, I haven't seen much about him. Anyway, I get frozen here, and I take this like a beast, and that ult. So I use my thing to come go away, and he does not touch me. If I had probably touched with that, that would have killed him for sure. And coming up to him, and then oh no, that's Thanatos. I'm dead. And yeah, that swipe of Cone heals him, and Sun Wukong. I should have went back. Anyway. Zeus comes along and kills him anyway, so I'm just like, eh, don't really bother. And I don't know why I'm keeping in my death thing, but anyway, I'll probably edit that out later ones. Nick is super laggy, and I teleport over there. And no new thing. You cannot actually teleport through walls. You actually jump over them physically. You just go up still, and you go up vertically, and then you go forward. It's still not physically possible, but I mean, I felt special doing that. And I see. A wild Poseidon going somewhere else where he shouldn't be. So, I use my little jumpy attack on him, smashes him. He tries to use his whirlpool. I stun him, yeah, and then just drop him to death. But then he gets away. Not on my watch. No, he doesn't get away. <laughs> that nuke is very, very powerful. Both of them. I mean, one does a ton of damage, and the other one stuns them at the first time and does a lot of damage as well. I mean it's like so if you juke that first the axe one, you you are pretty safe. It's sort of like Thanatos, but you don't want to be stunned by that. That and then you have the steroids which they have and then bang you're dead. So I see the Sun Wukong come here and like yeah got uh Yeah the dummy. Yeah it's a dummy Wukong. <laughs> Literally just before I got over that wall, he turned and did his ult, which was super annoying because I could have got another kill. And this Neath is having some trouble, not really, but she was in two v one for the start of the game. So I see nothing, and I'm going to try and come around from behind. But when I get there, he's already back out of his tower range with over half health. So I'm just like. Yo, you know what I like to do? I like to try and hit people with stuff. And I miss with my axes, and see, he gets away. If I, he may have, he probably would have died. And I'm just like, yeah, screw this. I'm gonna go home. But, I die. <laughs> Again, because of stupidity. It's just how I am, guys. I'm stupid when I realize that I can't tower dive at a level 7 with a uh, carry. And this knee almost gets away. I'm just like unlucky. She's unlucky here. So I come out and I'm like <laughs> just for the sake of being awesome. I think I would, won't die. To me. I don't know. I felt I felt kind of cool doing that. I don't know. I'm just gonna level up with some Wukong stuff and let's carry on going. And let's go and try and party with Ymir, because Ymir is a cool guy. He's a nice, he's a bit frosty, heaps of drinks cool for you, especially in summer, because he's not around in summer, because he's all the way back home. And Ganyu, again, almost kills me, and I'm flying away, and I, I live, I live, I'm fine, don't worry, don't worry guys, I'm perfectly fine. Don't worry, I'm doing perfectly okay. So, I just nuked this whole little thing, and you can take a whole wave out in one go when you're when you max this out and level 10. That's just super strong nuke there. Like I like it. And another good thing is that you can you have quite a high sustain when you get life steal from with your ult, and that's kind of special. So I see him flying away, the Sun Wukong, the baby blue bottle of mana stuff, and I see this, uh, dummy Wukong come in and I'm just like, I can take him, let's go, stun with axes and stuff, 
he uses up, but he didn't insta pop it for some reason because he may be able to kill me. Which is unique and weird. So I'm going away. And cause gun is about to kill me and I jump and I'm away. That combo has saved saved me about three thousand times in this match. Just the sprint, low cooldown with my jump. I feel special. And so I go back in. And Wow. That Fenrir did not kill. He did not manage to kill that guy. Using his ult. Ugh, anyway. Anyway. Their Sun Wukong's gonna die now. And now Fenrir is calling him a noob, so uh I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm gonna start my amazing uh Deathbringer. But I decided not to. Because I need the mana. I need the manners a lot, so it's very good to get uh can't remember what item that was. But anyway. Very good to get a mana early because this guy needs quite a bit of mana. And if you get that early, you're set. And wow, Thantos cannot take on our mighty Zeus because our mighty Zeus is the, the god of thunder, like most Zeuses. So you don't want to take him on because you'd be he'd be kind of scary. <laughs> so these these harpies don't know what's coming at them. Ice arrows. Wow. I am the friend of Thor, I think. I don't know much about Nordic mythology, but yes, I am the friend of Thor, and I will come and crush you underneath my hand. And looks like Zeus needs a bit of help. And just buy Zeus, so if you don't mind. Just took a bit of AXP. And let's carry on going. This guy, he could play in so many roles. I reckon he could be a very good jungler if you built him correctly. I mean, he has the speed, he has the attack speed, he has. If you just kept him in different forms. And wow, that Sun Wukong. Come on. Get him. Get the Sun Wukong. Get the stupid Sun Wukong. <sighs> you may have, why do you block that? Why do you body block that for him? Don't die. Don't die, Sun Wukong. I love you. I love you too much. Please. Don't die. Okay, I think he's good. I think he's good. And let's just go and kill this whole little line here. And feel good, good about it. You may have walking backwards now okay fine you may you can do what you want I, I really don't mind but I think that you need to have some lesson about nothing out about being a frost dragon so I almost get ganked there by Poseidon and I'm a 2v1 so let's just shoot the ice giant with ice perfect sense don't worry I'm fine with that and I'm on low mana so at the moment I'm pretty dead uh, Mr. Freeze unlucky me Mr. Freeze I'm taking this guy down very quickly but he's that one need to do too much especially for tank this guy I mean this guy's late game is very strong my ula whatever Sun Wukong comes from behind I'm just like you run wow that does so much damage just basic attacks and if I had my jump I would have eaten Ganyu's souls alive and now that Ymir will not get away come on don't let the Ymir get away and I almost died doing this and uh, my sprint saves me once again yes and oh look at that three kills in about the space of like two seconds so and our son Wukong is victorious over the little giant guy and I'm coming with 200 HP against uh, just not going back in lane. This guy does not want to go back in lane. I don't know why he. This guy is just kind of special. No. I mean, like even how he pronounces his own name is special. Even how he pronounces his own name is special. But he's pretty cool and very unique, and you can play him very well. If they keep him the same and don't nerf him, I don't think he needs to be that much nerf. I mean, I didn't do too well with him in my first game. And jump off the wall just to be kind of cool. Hey Zeus, how's it going? You like my axes? They're pretty scary. I can cut you. Th you cut you. I mean, only cold in that thing. 
Yeah. Okay, fine. Find Zeus. Let's go. And for some reason, instead of jumping like I wanted to, I actually uh, used my steroid, which was stupid because that was just how I am. How I am. And I'm waiting for Zeus to slap him silly with just electrocute him. Just electrocute him. Just, 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 just electrocute him. But well done. You missed. Don't worry. Oh, he must not have a mana. I don't know. And somehow, <laughs> I survived a Kraken and a Sun Wukong charging after me. And that's about it. This is when I have to DC and I crash. Which is sad. Very sad. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all the good stuff. And there's a green screen for everybody. Yay! So you happy stuff, I guess. Maybe not. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.